our focus has uh, been on uh, trying to work out how um, uh, important processes of development are regulated by uh, in 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 time. So, you know, and we focused on um, microRNAs, which are small RNAs that regulate the expression of other genes. And some of these serve as sort of master regulators, whereby you know the product of one gene can coordinate uh, the expression and activity of the products of many other genes. Well, microRNAs are um, the products of genes that have evolved to regulate the activity of other genes. So, you know, in every cell in our body, as we develop from an embryo, you know, to a youth and an adult, um, and as we maintain our tissues um, and heal wounds and uh, replace tissues and so forth, um, as children and even as adults, and you know, the way that we maintain the integrity of our, of the, of the, our organism um, down to the, the tiniest cell and, uh, you know, involves regulation of gene expression. And that regulation of gene expression is occurring minute by minute, hour by hour, every day. And microRNAs are um, part of the sort of the toolkit that cells have available to themselves, so, available to uh, regulate and coordinate gene expression, essentially in response to changing conditions, you know. Uh, so, for example, some microRNAs have been shown to be involved in um, tissue integrity and growth control, you know, such that they uh, play roles uh, in, you know, normal tissue homeostasis, but then they can also contribute to abnormal growth of tissues um, in the context of cancer. So those are just some of the examples of um, the roles of microRNAs that have been uncovered in the last, you know, five to ten years. Many people have wondered for quite a long time whether uh, RNA could have been the, you know, the nucleic acid, the genetic material that really was involved in getting life going on Earth. We study necessarily the RNA of today. We can only study organisms that are around today. But we find again and again as we study those organisms, whether they're bacteria or archaea or animals or plants, that we find off in many situations the exact same RNA molecule um, working in similar ways in all those organisms. So we know that our common ancestor had that RNA molecule doing something very similar. So we can trace back the lineage of the importance of RNA, um, certainly to our common ancestor, whatever that was, you know, probably a very simple uh, a cell. Um, so we, we know that, R, that RNA has been uh, incredibly central to biological mechanisms um, from the beginning. And definitely everything we learn today from studying RNA in um, in the you know, existing organisms and cells today uh, continues to enrich our appreciation for the versatility of, of RNA.